So I'm um, now in the studio. I have what well, I'm doing a, an interview with my very, very, very fam famous and favourite pianist and my BFF, Daniel Roberts. So I'm um, really excited about this one because you know everyone who's been watching my career, you know, I've just started doing the radio show. Just like to have fun with it now, I've learned how to not mess up. And so now I get to have a little bit of fun with Daniel Roberts. Oh. I think this is probably going to be one of the most fun interviews, so um, let's get down to it. Welcome to Classical Moments with me, concert violinist Hannah Warmer, on Gateway 97.8, our local radio. Vaughan Williams, Five Variants on Dives and Lazarus on Gateway 97.8. This is Classical Moments with me, Hannah Warmer. And in the studio today, I'm so pleased about this one, we have concert pianist Daniel Roberts. Hello. So, um, Vaughan Williams, are you a fan? Yes, very much so, because um, as, you, as I said before, it's my birthday soon, and it's actually the same day that Vaughan Williams was born as well. The 8th of October. And some of his repertoire will include Rachmaninoff. So tell us, where is it in London, this concert? It's going to be in the Holst Room mm -hmm. in Morley College, which is just about 10 minutes from Waterloo. So Waterloo train station's the nearest one yeah, to Yeah, or Lambeth North. Enjoy a nice well. day. Thank you, Daniel, for being Thank here. Thank you. And we're going to be played out by Fiona Bennett. So, I have finally interviewed my bestie, Daniel. <laughs> and how did that go? Oh, it was great. Yeah, I think it was very, very good. We played a lot of his music, and I need to go to the toilet now. So, we're going to be doing that, not together. No, <laughs> not. Um, yeah, so, we got lots of his music played. It was nice to hear his thoughts on classical music, and it's really nice to be together again, because obviously we don't see each other so much anymore. Um, yeah. Great, now some food. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> so, after a very, very, very busy and slightly tiring recording session for the radio show, we are now at Taco Bell. This is back to front because I'm filming on... <laughs> I'll cut that bit. So, we are walking past Burger King. We're not hungry anymore. And I'm with Daniel Roberts, and he's going for a wonderful shopping trip in Primark. If you're English, you know what Primark is. If you're from around the world, you may know what Primark is. And if you don't know what Primark is, and you're from around the world, you're going to love Primark. You're going to love Primark. <laughs> <laughs> so on the escalators with Daniel Roberts, 
and we're going for a classy trip in Primark. Literally, we'll buy a whole wardrobe for three pounds. <laughs> Let's see what's in the autumn winter. I think we're going to be bow shopping because Daniel needs a few hair bows. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> He's always so sensible. Yeah, <laughs> ah. Oh, now, now I'm looking like a 1930s child. Mummy, are we ready for church? <laughs> <laughs> I was hoping you'd laugh before me. <laughs> I was ten. Oh, well, I'll tell you. <laughs> Person. Okay, put that on my head. I'm holding a selfie stick. <laughs> ah. <laughs> yeah, you'll know. Now this is the. You got to pull it over my hairband. Right over the top. That's her. There we go. <laughs> like a Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna say nay to that. What about... Oh, I do need some earrings so you can help me choose earrings. Because I lose earrings very quickly. Yeah. yeah, Daniel's... He doesn't like to admit this, but he's pretty much a fashion guru. Yeah, <laughs> watch out, got one. <laughs> so, I'll show the pricing, just for anyone who's not in the UK. So that's £5 for these. It's literally... Primark is probably, like... Okay, the clothes don't last that long, but they are, yeah, it's cheap. Very, very cheap. <laughs> yeah, people are not impressing me walking around Primark with a selfie stick. Okay, I think the security guard's on to me. <laughs> Fine, do you know what, would earrings be here? You look at him, look at him, he's running for the exit. <laughs> ah, there's an exit there, not Brexit. Okay, what earrings? One, two euros. Yeah. Are they two chairs? Alright. Mm. I like nothing over the top. <laughs> What's the biggest? Yeah, you get ones like it. For that Christmas party. <laughs> Makes me feel special. Um. Oof. Hmm. <gasps> it might this. be Harry Potter for Halloween. <laughs> Just need a, a light <laughs> <laughs> Oh, those sunglasses are so cheap. You should grab some. I've got some. Yeah, but you can never have enough sunglasses. I sit on mine at least. <gasps> that looks special. The ones I bought were the nine pounds. Nine pounds. Wow. See, this is how much are sunglasses here? One pound. That's what I'm saying. You should buy a whole pack of them and then sell but them it in Brazil. Came with a case as well. Uh, <laughs> These ones come with a case. That's a, a nice case. Oh, get over it. For nine pounds, it's better. It's got a case and one of these. <laughs> nine quid. Um, maybe those. I don't know. Actually, some earrings. And that's cheap for Brazil. What nine pounds? Yeah, for sunglasses. Mm, I don't know. I'm not good at choosing things. That's why I bring other people to choose things for me, but I invariably go... the whole shop, yeah. and then we've got the choice. <laughs> That's what I um, The things I always go shopping with men, which is ridiculous, because they don't want to choose anything. <laughs> like you care. You just don't pay attention. So I'm sitting outside now. I've just spent a two hour rehearsal with a penis, pe penis, <laughs> pianist. Um, this is not for violin piano, but for violin orchestra. 
and it's for a concert I'll be doing next year in 2018 and so it's I always find it's a really good idea to rehearse with a pianist um, playing the orchestral parts so I've been rehearsing a concerto I'm slightly tired now it's that time of year I always get tired in the autumn I swear I'm sort of like the missing link in evolution and I was born to hibernate in these coming months. Oh.